It's so weird, like, watching a movie about high schoolers graduating when I'm graduating high school. You are actually gonna head on over to the theater to watch the full movie right now. Oh my gosh, no way! Wait, are you being serious? You've been out for two years and you never kissed a girl. What is really this? I don't know what I'm telling you with all that stuff. This is book smart. I don't know what I'm telling you with all that stuff. Book smart! I once tried to <laughs> electric toothbrush. Oh my god. I got it with an electric toothbrush. <laughs> but I got a horrible UTI. Yeah, oh. like horrible. Oh. I wish that would have been a secret, but you've mentioned it many, many times. <laughs> Everything I've heard about this movie is just like, it's good. You have to see it. You have to see this movie. Are we gonna go to school or? Nope. They are literally me, both of them. Like, it's me. Isn't it crazy that it's the last day of school? Are you kidding me, Samantha? <laughs> She's got a really cute smile. Go talk to her. Oh, oh, sorry, oh. sorry. My sharp elbows, not as sharp as your chin. <laughs> what? Great flirting technique, we love it. Not as sharp as your chin. <laughs> what? That's just so accurate to how high schoolers like flirt. School. <laughs> it's the last day. We got you through high school. I need to go over the end of the year budget numbers. Can't we just graduate, head off to college? That should do it, right? We will persist. <laughs> I can't hear you. I can't soundproof class. This is honestly one of my teachers. <laughs> Olivia Wilde directed this? Well, Olivia Wilde know. killed it with this. She really said, let me show you guys what I can do. Party tonight. What? Nobody knows. Oh, what party? Fun. Nobody knows that we are fun. We to LOL. School and get into good colleges, and it worked. But the I love cheesy movies partied. like this. Oh, so irresponsible people who partied also got into those colleges. I'm incredible. <laughs> That's facts, though. <laughs> I'm incredible, at but I also got a 1560 on the SATs. Yes, Queen. Ugh. We haven't done anything. We haven't broken any rules. Name Damn, she's like, she just woke up. She's like, what? We could have been having fun? What? Name one person whose life was so much better because they broke a couple of rules. Picasso. He broke art rules. Rosa Parks. Name another one. Susan B. Anthony. God damn it. She's got a point. <laughs> Susan B. Anthony. God damn it. Feminist icons. Put me to your lips. Hand sanitizer. Check. Chapstick. Check. Mace. Listen, it is Mace. Really important that you keep the safe. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird, like, watching a movie about high schoolers graduating when I'm graduating high school. Tonight is your night. Damn, are you in their cap and gown? Giving no f <laughs> their hair is coming in their face. Oh, <laughs> what is this? We ask the question! Oh my god. How old are you? Does not matter! <laughs> oh. Well, this seems excessive. Shotgun. Just kidding. I don't have one. <laughs> this is taking turns I didn't think it would. Oh, book smart. Don't say we're having a date night. Why? It's funny your parents think we're boning. Oh my god. Thieves! It's special. Hmm? We are gonna show each other how much we care about each other. <laughs> we'll probably just do a Korean face mask. I don't need to know all the words. I don't need to know all the words. Uh, yes! I relate to it a lot. I feel like I didn't party at all in high school. I'm like, shoot, people that had fun, like, also did well, and, like, they're going to good colleges, and I want to do that. Just based off of the trailer, it seems pretty, like, legit. These are conversations that I've always had, like, I've had with my friends and, like, with my friends' parents. I remember seeing a trailer a while back, and I still get the same vibe, just not my movie. Usually in high school, like, dramas or whatever, or, like, comedies, it's, like, the dumb jocks, like, the nerds who are successful. And then, like, this kind of plays on the actual reality that, like, no, there's people who are definitely, like, a mix. So that was the trailer for the film Booksmart. I've never heard about this movie. Booksmart. For today's episode, we have brought in teens from the graduating classes of 2018 and 2019 since you all were recently high school seniors. Graduated two days ago. So today we're doing something a little different. Okay. What are we doing today? You are actually going to head on over to the theater to watch the full movie right now. Oh my gosh, no way. Wait, are you being serious? Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome. All right, maybe I'll subvert my expectations. Hopefully it does. Maybe I'm like, oh, this movie's fun. This movie's great. Ready to go? Yes, let's like go right now. Are you kidding me? Can we just go? Can we, like everyone, like let's, let's get up. Let's go, let's do it.
Crypto, first of all, welcome back. Thank you. I had so much fun. It was fun, you know, with friends to watch it, but all in all, uh, it wasn't for me. It was like really genuinely funny. Like everyone was laughing like their butts off. Being someone very close to the age of the characters in the film, do you feel that the movie was an accurate depiction of what this time in your life is or was like? Yeah, definitely. It's so authentic the way that they portray a female friendship like that. Such a strong best friend relationship is hard to come across. In the real world, you do see uh, people act the way they acted, you know, like try to be party people just because of societal pressures. And people do some stupid stuff to fit in. So it's relatable, it's accurate in that way. I don't think there's that many people like taking wild drugs in high school and not so many people throwing empty parties on yachts. There have been rumors of teachers at my school driving Ubers and Lyfts, so like that part was definitely realistic. I feel like that's an over-exaggerated version of high school, but it's still, I understand what they're going for, which I actually really liked. It's just a movie, you're not supposed to take it too seriously, but if they're going for the route that's supposed to be like high school, then for sure you got, it definitely was not like high school. They drove through the gate at graduation with their friend's car, I'm like, yeah, that's funny, but no. The characters talk to each other, how me and my friends talk to each other, and it was like normal. Um, and it was like really weird for me to watch a movie about the class of 2019, when I'm the class of 2019, in 2019. Of course, it's like over dramatized, but like uh, there's some truth to what they were saying, like about how, like, even if you didn't work as hard, like you could still get into <laughs> some of these colleges, like you could finesse your way in. This is like literally what high school is. The movie really focused on the aspect of partying versus studying in high school and if you can have both. In your opinion, do you think high school is more about academics, the social experience and partying, or does there have to be a balance? I think. There does have to be a balance of both. This is your teenage years, this is your time to have fun. Not saying that you can't study and stuff, but balance it. You do need a balance because if you just focus on school, you're gonna kinda like be disconnected from the real world. Having a balance between like socializing and studying is extremely important, but if like, if something is genuinely stressing you out mentally, there are resources that are better than using parties as an outlet. There can be a balance. I feel I, um, people can't be cooped up doing school all day. You know, high school has fun moments like prom, formal, and other maybe some social events that you can go participate in. You're in school primarily for academics. You know, you're trying to learn, but also part of learning is learning social awareness and being able to like pick up on social cues and hold conversations and interact with totally different people than what you'd use, usually associate yourself with. Some people do really focus on like the schoolwork and the homework and the tests and studying and exclude all social activities from their life. High school, middle school are so important to get to know yourself and like, like try new things and do stuff. You only have to live with one person for the rest of your life. And it's yourself. And if we're speaking honestly, do you consider yourself more of a studier? Oh, 100% a studier. You don't even need to finish the sentence. Do you consider yourself more a partier or a studier? Okay, if I did have to choose one, I would say more on the academic side. But for parties, I've only ever been to two parties and like I didn't like them. Studier. Partying was definitely not on my agenda. I would definitely say I was a partier because I did like, I went out with friends a lot. I did sports, I did clubs. I think that's what like got me into a school. It was my stuff outside. I am a social butterfly. Like I talk to everybody. I feel like you should always find a balance between what is supposed to be done and what you want to do. Definitely a party, are you kidding me? I mean, I, you know, in school I was, I was like a smart girl. I tried my best, um, but I definitely was more focused on the people at school rather than the tests. One of the things many people were very excited to see in this film was the representation of diversity. Yes, that was my favorite part. Most of the time, when you watch a, a movie, it's not, the cast members don't look like the real world people. And this movie, they did. Their characters have different ethnicities, sexual orientations, and body sizes, none of which were ever spoken about, but all of which helped to enrich the real world feel. Yeah, it should just be more, just like raw and more natural. I love that the fact that they didn't like even question anybody. Like every, there was a lot of gay characters in that movie and they were just chilling. They were just living their life. Everybody was cool with them. Oh, I think it was really good that they incorporated it into the movie like in some way, but didn't focus on it on there because like 
that's not really what the movie was about. <laughs> Diversity is always something that uh, should take part in movies. It's just a simple, simple little side note that you glaze at, you nod your head, and you kind of move on. Beanie Feldstein, who plays Molly in the film, said representation is really important. I think if I could have seen our film earlier, I think I maybe would have found myself a bit sooner. I love that. I love that. I'm gonna cry. That's so real. <laughs> There's so much representation of different types of people, and it's nice to see that um, not under a microscope. So there's diversity, but it's not about like a diverse person. It's just incorporating these different things um, to be normal. She's a wonderful person and a great uh, person in the community. She's also part of the LGBTQ community. And the fact that like she supports and the film so much in that sense is adorable. How important do you think it is for this film and others to show this type of representation and diversity on screen? It felt more, uh, what's the word? It felt more genuine in the way that it was going about representing these stories. It did a really good job of just making it real and not like it was forcing it to be like a coming of age film. It's representation in a everyday setting where it would be in real life, which is the most important. It's extremely important to showcase different ethnicities and different roles because there's sort of this negative feedback loop where if you're of a certain ethnicity and you only or sexuality and you only see yourself represented in one sort of stereotype or one generic way, you kind of socialize yourself to think, well, that's really the only option for me. By having entertainment that represents different identities, it really opens up doorways for people to be powerful no matter where they come from or who they are. Finally, in the movie, Amy and Molly are trying to catch up on what they missed in high school. So if you could give advice to a teen who is going to or is in high school about something they shouldn't miss out on, what would it be? Oh, prom. <laughs> uh, if you're not planning to go to prom, rethink your decision and go. Cause I know I thought about not going to prom and my whole mind shifted. My parents told me about it and like, I'm so glad I went. I had a really good time. Just don't hold yourself back. Like if, if you want to do something, do it. It's definitely important to experience, you know, high school and you know, life to its best fullest, but just join in on the fun when it comes to public, public, uh, public events. Don't, worry about it. Don't overthink it. Don't miss any like events. Even if it's if it turns out lame, you know, you still have that experience of like, oh yeah, like I remember going to my 10th grade sh homecoming, you know, like you have that memory and that's like something you'll keep forever. You know how all the schools have um, a graduation night, a grad night, even though like it might seem like d boring and dull, it is going to be amazing. For us personally, it was Disneyland. For the people that went, it was amazing and everyone who didn't go was like, damn, I wish I went. Stay off your phone because I spent so much time on my phone, on social media, and playing games, and I, I didn't see as much of the real world as I wanted to. So get off your phone, or your laptop, whatever you're watching this on, go outside and play. <laughs> That's my advice. Don't miss out on introducing yourself to people that you think are cool and admirable because honestly most of the time they'll just reciprocate and that's something that I wish I'd done sooner. There were so many people that I thought were too cool to be my friend or something and so I waited and then once I did actually introduce myself we ended up being really close and you know, no one's ever too cool for you. You know, <laughs> just reach out, introduce yourself, and see what friends you can make. Thanks for watching this special episode of React. Subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an episode like this one. Shout out to Craziest Games and more. Bye guys. Hey everyone, Lauren Producer here at FBE. If you want to see more episodes like this from all the generations, we got a whole bunch of them. The links will be down in the description. Bye everyone, and I'm gonna go do a Korean face mask.